Welcome to HortTube, where we talk all things gardening. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is a Sky Pencil Holly. This is a Sky Pencil Holly. It's an evergreen shrub that grows super tall and narrow. As you'll notice, every branch is perfectly vertical, and all future branches grow exactly the same. You can prune from the top of these, prune from the side of these, it doesn't matter. The growth that replaces it will continue to grow vertically. Sky pencil hollies can reach eight to 10 feet in height and two to three feet in width. As you'll notice, every single branch grows perfectly vertical. So this plant has many uses anywhere you need some height in a narrow space. Uh, it can be kept narrower if you need to by taking pieces off the side or the height can be controlled by simply holding it together like this and off with its head. Sky pencil hollies are very, very popular, mainly because everyone's got a place for one. Everybody's got a narrow place between a window where they need something tall, but it can't get very wide. They have a very narrow space between a fence and the grass where they're trying to get something tall against a fence. Sky pencil hollies are best in zones six to nine, probably in the top of zone six, uh, in the northern parts of zone six, it would get some winter burn on the top of it if it was out in open space, probably best there as a foundation plant. Probably best everywhere as a foundation plant because I, see, I do see people try to use these as screening plants, but you need to put them almost pot to pot in order for them to eventually become a screen because it's not gonna get wide enough to do that for you. Sky pencil hollies can grow between six and 12 inches in a year, probably closer to six if they weren't fertilized and as much as 12 if they are fertilized. Hollies are acid loving plants. So any fertilizer for acid loving plants, uh, most garden centers would have something that would work for these. In terms of planting, there aren't a lot of special requirements for hollies. We wanna make sure we don't cover anything that's not covered when you purchase it. If you're putting it in clay soils, we'll mix a little pine bark soil conditioner, 50-50 with the clay. If we're putting it in some sand, we'd wanna add some compost or peat moss to help hold some water in place since it's not the most drought tolerant plant in the world and then lightly mulch and fade it out before the base of the plant. Again, I can't state enough, do not cover anything that's not covered when you purchase the plant, and that would be true with any plant. With sky pencil hollies, you can prune anything that's undesirable anytime you need to. Occasionally, you'll get a limb that will stick out like this, can easily be taken off. If it gets taller than you need it, you can just hold this together and give it a haircut pretty quickly. Most hollies are very drought tolerant, but that does not include sky pencils. I see sky pencils really get stressed very easily when it's abnormally dry. So these do need additional water during the summertime months. One concern we do have on sky pencil hollies is if you live in an area that's prone to ice and ice damage, uh, these are very susceptible to being bent over by ice. Uh, the way you can help with that in the future is these might grow 12 inches a year if you're fertilizing them. If you'll take some of that growth off the top occasionally, that will actually thicken the stems below it and should help and resist some of the weight of that ice if you just let them grow and grow and grow and stay very, very thin like these pieces are at the top right now. Definitely ice is gonna bend that over. Sky pencil hollies, like most hollies, have very few insect or disease problems. Occasionally we'll see some leaf spotting and maybe a little scale insect in the very, very bottom interior of the plant uh, where there's not a lot of air movement, but really uh, nothing that really needs to be worried about in the landscape. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the evergreen, easy, upright, narrow sky pencil holly. Thanks for watching, and if this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, comment below with any suggestions you have for future videos or any additional questions you have about Sky Pencil Hollies. People will frequently use, try to use. Sky Pencil Hollies grow best. Sky Pencil Hollies grow best in winter burn if it's on a. Sky pencil hollies grow best in zone six to nine, probably up in the top of zone six. You're probably gonna get some winter burn on the tops if it's not, if.